Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today and welcome to the last Farm Friday video for, well for me, it'll be the last Farm Friday video for the year. So if you're interested in seeing how this plays out, please be sure to stay tuned. Okie dokie. So again, for me, this is going to be the last Farm Island video that I do for the year. I know that GB says she's not releasing any additional challenges. And for the remainder of the year, I would like to go back to kind of doing my regular routine without using all of the boxes all the time. So for me, this will be my last Farm Island thing. And well, really, unless she throws in some sort of like, you know, extra little thing <laughs> um so but before we get into this let's go ahead and read here has it been a long time since you reached out to a friend or family member plan to meet them for coffee or lunch fortunately i am able to maintain good contact with really friends here because i don't have any like you know real birth family here um i have you know friends that i have claimed as family, but I don't have any actual like birth relatives here. Um, so we do a very good job of kind of staying together. However, there is one group of girls that I probably do need to schedule some time with because it has been a while for us. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something that I am going to work on doing. Um, so, but anywho, I have seen them. We just haven't had any like official, let's just sit down and hang out time in a while. So it's definitely time to schedule that. Okay. So I have my binder here. We have $30 to play with today. So I'm going to put that in here and I will go ahead and count this money at the end and take out our final cards for the week. And I'm going to take out my badge because you know got to clock in to work and you guys if you missed it you need to go uh, all I'm gonna say is you need to go watch GB's video <laughs> because there is some stuff some uh some clues that have been given in the case and I know that I will not do it justice by trying to explain it so definitely go follow GB over Income Babes um, so that she can give you all the tea on this particular case. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and thirty. Wait, that what was that ten? Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I was over here. Doing extra money. I am going to take out the money for my paycheck, though, because, uh, yeah, that's what I do. I get my paycheck money from the same, from the same sky people, as they say in Avatar, <laughs> from the same sky people that casino money comes from. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, again, my rent utilities have all been paid for the month, so I don't need to worry about that. I will have to make that payment again when we come back. Uh, I do not, I don't think, have enough money to buy a car yet. 20, 40, 60, 80, nope. 90, 1, 5, 6, 7. So I have 107,000 Farmolians, so not quite yet, which means I will have to take the bus. So for the week, that is going to be 5,000 Farmolians. So I'm going to put that here in transportation. So I have my bus pass for the week. We of course are going down to the local hospital because that is where we are working right now. So I'm going to sign in, beep. That's how I earned my 25,000 farmolians. All right, and we're gonna leave this here because again, this is week four and it is easier to just go ahead and like mark this while I'm here. Instead of going back and forth. All right. So 
Step one is to deliver the samples to the lab. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven samples left. So just instead of rolling, I'm just gonna pay because I might just keep rolling the same numbers over and over and over again. So seven samples. So GB, if you are watching this, which I'm sure that you will, I have officially completed delivering all of my samples to the lab. One, two, three. Oh, this doesn't matter. I'm going to be emptying this out anyway. Okay, so all samples have been delivered to the lab. I repeat, all samples have been delivered to the lab. Let's go ahead and read this card. You return from room 13 only to find a strange note scrawled on the wall. The cure is within. Try to decode the message. See, because this hospital, it just, it, it's doing too much, bro. It's doing too much. I passed out as strangers. It's just, ugh, it's too much. Stressful. I got to get up out of here. I'm ready to go back to my regular job. I feel like that little girl on Instagram. No, I'm going to go home. <laughs> That's how I feel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I am completing all of my patient files. I am also checking my patient's vitals. So there is that. Okay, so 7,000 pharmolians for my files. Done. My vitals. Uh, was I paying for that? I think I was paying for that. So that would be one, five, ten. Oh. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I ain't paying for vitals today. I'm just going to buy some prescriptions because you know what? I didn't even have to do it in the first place. One, two. So, okay. So we're going to do $2, 2,000 pharmolians for prescriptions. I didn't even have to do anything in the first place. Like I legit could have just said, I checked them. All right. So I went and got the prescriptions, went and paid the, went and got the, check the vitals, got the prescriptions. All right. And then the last thing we need to do is feed these pigs. So we're going to, of course, do five pigs again. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's for that. And then each pig needs two carrots. And I have one, two, three, four, five already in inventory. Awesome. So I just need to get five more carrots. and then we need five tomatoes but I already have three so I only actually need to get two more which is awesome one and two all right so I have officially completed all of my tasks. I still don't actually know what the code is though. So there's that. Um, let's read this card here for day number 14. You overhear doctors whispering about pig pox being an intentional outbreak. Uh-oh. Dig deeper into the conspiracy. See, because why it have to be intentional though? Oh. 15. You're getting impatient. Try to take down the system. Attempt to sabotage the hospital's lockdown. Ain't going to be able to do it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, Cause again, in my real life, I would have already gone home. I don't think y'all understand how big of a chicken I am. I would have been gone. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Yeah. I am not, not the spooky type. <laughs> 
Not, not, not spooky. Mm -mm. No spooky for me. When it comes down to it, I'm leaving. I promise I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I ain't even going to blink. If you see me running, you better run too, because I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, your girl is not going to be a witness. I can promise you that. Somebody told you I told you they lying because I wasn't there. I left already. All right. So all tasks have been completed. Let's read this last card to see what I'm not going to do. You discover a hidden lab deep within the hospital. Could the cure be here? Oh, my gosh. Continue your search for clues in this forbidden area. See? Again, I'm... No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm -mm. All I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for my boss, GB, to tell me what to do. Because I'm not going to know any of this other stuff because I'm not doing it. Here is my money. 25,000 farmoleons. I'm going to go ahead and skip the casino today because I feel like I've just been doing too much. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just... We're going to skip it. Uh, I am going to pop these cards back in here so they don't get lost because I need to know the rest of the information. But again, definitely go and watch GB over Income Babes so you can get all the clues that I'm not going to tell you because I won't be able to explain it in the wonderful way that she did. So that is it for my portion of the challenge. What do we have? We have 2,000 Farmolians left. So I am going to keep this in here as rollover money for when we start back up. And let's see how much I saved in Farm Island this time for the month of October. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40. That's awesome. So $140 was saved in this challenge. Yay! I'm going to just clip this to it so I don't forget. I am standing up as usual so there's that so this is going to go in here with my completed challenges and i am going to ring my bell yay because i was able to finish it all this time which is awesome and then i'm going to put a dollar in the ding 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 challenge and you guys, for me, that is it. If there are any additional updates that come up, I will be sure to either do a quick video or leave that information in the community post. So definitely, you know, keep an eye out on that situation. But I appreciate all of you guys for being here. I know this game <laughs> is a little confusing for others, but I appreciate your support nevertheless for watching these videos and, you know, cheering me on along the way. I hope that I was able to make you smile because it has been lots of fun for me um, playing this game this year. I wish that I would have gotten in on the beginning, but I'm super happy that I did, you know, get in when I got in because it has been definitely fun. And I have saved a whole lot of money <laughs> because of these farm challenges. So if you are looking for some new savings challenge games, I highly recommend um, checking out GB over at Income Babes because she has a lot of challenges, box challenges especially, that are going to push you to a whole other level of saving. I haven't even ventured into that candy box because that candy box is no joke. <laughs> so if you are really, 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 really trying to save money and do it the fun way, because again, we all know that everybody can just put the money in the bank or just put the money in an envelope and you can just be done and that's okay. But for certain people like myself, <laughs> we enjoy the challenge of the game. Not only does it help us to save money, but it helps us to save more money because we want to continue to play the game or the challenge or the scratch off or, you know, whatever the situation is. So it just helps us push ourselves a little bit farther. Because if I literally just said, oh, this month I'm going to save $100, that's all I would save. I would just save $100. I wouldn't push myself to, oh man, I got to get an extra $5 because I want to pay that IOU. Oh man, I need an extra $10 because now I want to play this coffee box. Like I wouldn't push myself. I would literally just save whatever it was I decided for the month that I was going to save and then that would be it. This is making me push myself a whole step further and this year i have saved more money <laughs> literally i have saved more money this year than i have ever saved in my entire life so i that's it that's it that's why i do what i'm doing 
So anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for all of your support for my channel, for GB's channel, for Maria's channel, for Kathy's channel, for just all of us budgeting girls. I can't even think of all of them. Andra, Fiona, like all of us. <laughs> There's so many. But thank you guys for all of your support on all of our channels and for continuing to push us towards our goals. Even other people in the budgeting community help us to stay motivated. Like when I watch like sassy beauty plans and, um, you know, people like that, that are saving like the big money. Like, I'm like, man, I can't wait when I go watch Bay. Like I cannot wait <laughs> to be at that point where I can save 10, 15, $20,000. Like I cannot wait. And I am claiming that for myself. And I am claiming that for each and every one of you that even if you right now are stuffing quarters, nickels and dimes, that one day we will all be able to say we saved multiple thousands of dollars using this system. So save any amount that you can for now and just know that later on you will be able to save more and more and more and more. And that is so amazing. That is so amazing. We are truly blessed to be able to save anything. And I do not take it for granted. And I do not take it lightly. And I'm just, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for each of you. I'm grateful that God has allowed me to stretch and grow and learn. Like I'm just, I'm just grateful. And I'm going to go and eat some popcorn and read a book and go to bed. <laughs> So you guys be safe, be kind, or be quiet and be well. And I'll catch you in the next one.